Good Thursday morning. Glad to be with you in Ecclesiastes chapter 5. We're going to be looking at verses 13 through 17. And he's still talking about the danger of depending upon riches and how uh, money and wealth and the desire for that can really uh, run our lives to the point that it ruins our lives. And so he says in verse 13, there's a grievous evil which I've seen under the sun, riches being hoarded by their owner to his hurt. And when those riches were lost through a bad investment, he had nothing uh, left. He said nothing to support the, the son he fathered. And he'd come naked from his mother's womb and he's going to return as he came. I want to just kind of stop there and just uh, comment on what he said. First of all, uh, when you hoard anything, it begins to ruin your life. It can ruin your life. You seek to protect yourself by protecting that. It ought to be just the opposite of that. Our wealth, our accumulated wealth, or uh, you know what we what we make on our jobs should really protect uh, protect us instead of us trying to protect that. And I think once you begin to be overly concerned about that, now I'm not talking about investing wisely. I'm not talking about uh, putting your money safely away somewhere. Uh, I'm not talking about that. But if you happen to lose that, then God is still the provider, and He's providing for us so that those things protect us rather than we, you and I, protecting those things. And if we get overly concerned about that and the accumulation of things, then you can't enjoy the life you're living because you're always worrying about losing what you're never going to use. And he's saying that. Then he says there's always the danger of losing that. You know, if you have invested in uh, the stock market over the years, uh, time after time, you know, 7, 10, 12 years, uh, the stock market crashes, you know, almost, and uh, you lose the value of those investments. And it certainly happened to me and my family, but we never lost any meals. I never lost any sleep over it. I was concerned about it, but God is the one who provides for us. And so if he's provided for us to that point and that investment is lost, then he's going to provide for us again. And we need to trust him in that and look for opportunities and ask him for wisdom to know how to invest uh, wisely. But he says, you can lose what you hoard. And when you lose what you hoard, you have nothing left to support anybody with. You know, I think it's a very important thing that we understand the difference between saving and hoarding. Because when you save, you save to protect your family, but you also save for emergencies. You also save to help people. That's how churches are built. That's how ministries are funded. You, you save to do that. You save to let your wealth be extended or whatever you make. And once again, remember, wealth is not comparative. No, it's not comparative at all. It is what it is. Don't let it ruin your life. And if you lost it all today in the shadows uh, that you had to put away, God would be in the sunshine and would give you enough. Ask God if you're hoarding or saving. Ask God if he can use you to fund something else. Ask God if he will search your heart to see if whether you truly trust him in the good times and the bad times whenever they come to us in the future. Heavenly Father, we pray that our trust is first and foremost in you. And may we not be hoarders, Father. Savers, yes. And may we use what you allow us to accumulate, not only for your glory, but for the benefit of our families, but also for the benefit of others. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.